Okay, so we're back here with the party of shorts, and I got the whole box out here. And the reason for that is that, <clears throat> well, a couple different things, but I have smoked a few cigars out of this box, and it's been hit or miss with this box of cigars, definitely. So some of them are really overfilled and they're rock hard, like this one right here, hard as a rock. Pretty sure that's not gonna smoke that well. So, my problem has been that most of the cigars are like that in this box of 50, and it's hard to pick out one that might smoke well. This one feels okay. Yeah, it really, it's really sad too. You get a box of 50 and like half of them you can't smoke or whatever. These have been in my humidor for a while. They're about two and a half years old. So, I mean, the only thing I can attribute the bad smoking experience with these cigars has been the fact that they're just overfilled. That's the only thing I can think of. This one feels like it might smoke okay. So those of you that are thinking of getting a 50 count of party of shorts, I would say the ASR factory code from June of 18 is not all that good. And it's kind of hard because you can't, which we call it. So, I mean, I've tried smoking this, you doing the, the perfect draw, this, this tool right here, tried doing the perfect draw on this thing, run it all, I mean, I've run that thing all the way to the end of it and back, and it just puts a big hole in there, ends up, I mean, it just, there's only so much you can do with a cigar once it's like this. I had a friend of mine, Paul, who was a Romeo he had a box of Romeo and Julietas, and he was actually weighing them on a scale, and they were overfilled by I don't know how many how many grams of tobacco. And personally, I think that these are overfilled. I haven't put them on a scale yet to weigh them or anything like that, but I could just tell by feeling them that they're just a little overfilled. So the smoking experience has been rather off on these things, but hopefully this one will be okay. Really nice wrapper on these things. I mean, it's a bit lumpy. There's a bunch of seams in there. It's a bit veiny. Nice sheen on there though. They really have a nice sheen to them. A bit oily. So it could be the fact that they're overfilled. Like they feel like they're a little overfilled, but also the fact that the heroin inside, they're still a little moist after two and a half years even, where there's still a lot of that heroin there that's got that moisture and the oils in there that need to kind of wick out and that's what the aging process does is it wick you know the the cigars settle the oils and the tobaccos marry inside the cigar and as time goes on those oils dissipate and they break down and that's where you get these flavors and so on and so forth that begin to develop in a cigar later on so but now at two and a half years I'm not sure, so we're gonna try this one. I'm gonna cut it and light it and see how things go. There's quite a bit of resistance on the draw. So, I don't know. Anyway, let's light this thing up. Yeah, right out of the gate, it's just kind of got, uh, and it's super hot here. I mean, it's, you saw me toasting it. It's weird, because like normally when you toast a cigar, the foot of the cigar, it doesn't take long for that tobacco to sort of start to ignite and get hot. And this, it was, the foot was just like packed. 
just packed full of tobacco. And so it's gotten really hot right out the gate. I mean, it's really kind of hot to the touch right on the foot of the cigar here. So I don't know. Very disappointed in this box of Partagas shorts. But hopefully, I'm just going to let them sit there, maybe get another box of something else and smoke that and just put these in the back of the humidor and forget about them for, I don't know, a year or two and see how they mature. But right out the gate, this thing is starting out not so good. And when it normally starts out, when they're smoking good, you get that kind of a peppery vibe in the on the palate and in the retro with that tobacco and that earth that really heavy earthiness in there this one's got kind of like a bit of a floral kind of a vibe to it but i just think it's because of the heat the amount of heat that was generated during the beginning of the cigar yeah it's just got kind of it's not the soapy floral it's just like a bit of a floral note in there and it's sort of woody actually just kind of off from what i normally would expect from a partigas. So, yeah. Well, let's give it a shot with the perfect draw and see what happens. See if we can pick out a little bit of this tobacco. Well, that seemed to help a little bit, which is good. So hopefully this is going to be a pretty decent smoking experience. I've got my fingers crossed. So just to get all that other stuff out of the way, uh, DudeCigars.com, which is the aggregator for everything, and uh, just a website that's kind of a work in progress, kind of like putting stuff up there and so on and so forth. There we go. Yeah, it's starting to open up now, which is good. I'm happy now. So the reason, another reason I have the box out here is uh, a lot of you guys, because they have an Instagram account, dude 90077 so follow me on Instagram. That'd be great. But a lot of you guys like will take pictures of cigars. You have questions or whatever like that, and you send me a picture on Instagram. Well, the problem with that is that I can't blow up the pictures and see anything and look at the detail. So, if you're gonna send me pictures, email them to me at dude90077 at gmail.com and take your pictures in landscape mode like this and do it of the top, the sides, the bottom of the box. And then of course the cigar is inside the box as well. And then email those pictures over to me at dude90077 at gmail.com. And that way I can take a look at the pictures and give my best guess on things and so on and so forth because like I said on Instagram it just doesn't work as well as just emailing me the pictures so if you do that with that would be greatly appreciated and then if you could whoop right there if you could subscribe to the channel that would be awesome as well and finally patreon.com forward slash Dave dude if you can that'd be great I'd greatly appreciate it if you could donate three five ten dollars for my efforts of documenting all these cigars on the YouTube channel and all the other things and that would be greatly appreciated if you can if you can't that's fine too I'm not asking you to if you can't so there it is there but it's really just this cigar has just definitely become kind of that earthy tobacco-y bit peppery on the palate and in the retro but nothing overpowering kind of like with the non-cuban cigars they can really when you say pepper in a non-cuban cigar you think wow it's like pepper in the nose i mean i've smoked some non-cuban cigars where it's just been like a pepper fest in my nose and that to me is just a little off-putting but once again i can see how people like that mouthfeel and that that kind of really big flavor on the palate as opposed to in the nose. And I, I get that, but like I said, for me, it's not something that 
I enjoy as much as a cigar that I can get that kind of chewiness and that really long lingering finish on the palate and then also get that really nice flavor in the in the nose as well that re those really nice flavors that come up from the aroma and the taste on the tongue which combines to make a flavor in the cigar the whole package but that's just me I'm just some knucklehead on the internet with an opinion right so take that for what it's worth so anyway I am going to smoke this thing down to the band and I will be back with the tasting notes. So back here with the tasting notes on the Partagas Short. So like I said, the cigar, well, it kind of opened up kind of slowly and then it started to do that normal profile that I'm used to with the tobacco, the earth and the pepper. And it was pretty much the same cigar all, all throughout the entire cigar. <clears throat> the one thing to note, was that in the last third of the cigar, the pepper really actually started to pick up quite a bit. It's become quite a peppery cigar here at the end. Which, I mean, quite a bit of pepper in the end here. <clears throat> it's definitely, the cigar has gotten a lot stronger. Uh, strength wise, well, once it opened up, it became a pretty full strength cigar, full bodied cigar, definitely on this thing. <clears throat> um, CA rating, if I was gonna give this thing a CA rating now, I mean, considering all the other stuff in this box, it would be like a, about an 86 <clears throat> with everything because of the fact that I'm factoring in all the other cigars and so on and so forth. And I'm hoping that moving forward, that as like I said I'm just gonna forget about these cigars and just get something else <clears throat> and hopefully they'll those oils will dissipate and the tobacco will uh, marry together and and all that moisture will wick out and the cigar will be a better smoking experience moving forward but I'm not putting a lot of faith in that because I think that these cigars are a bit overfilled and there's only so much you can do Thank goodness I have that perfect draw to open this thing up, which actually made things a little bit better. So I'm not gonna say if you have a chance to pick up some of these cigars, go for it, because these particular cigars, the ASR factory code from 2018, don't, I don't think that, uh, I don't think that they're gonna be all that good for you. But <clears throat> I know this is a cigar that a lot of people enjoy, a lot of people, you do comments and stuff like that <clears throat> on these cigars when I post them on Instagram. And a lot of people like Partagas, definitely. I mean, Partagas for me has a place. I mean, and that's why there's all these different cigars, right? Because you have different moods, different times of day, different things that you're gonna be doing that are gonna dictate what type of a cigar you're gonna smoke, like a morning smoke or an afternoon smoke. You're not gonna want a super heavy cigar Maybe in the evening after a big dinner or something like that, you're going to want a heavier cigar. And the, the part of your cigar definitely fits the bill for that, right? It's going to have that heavy, thick, chewy mouthfeel, lingering finish on the palate, and so on and so forth. And people are going to definitely kind of gravitate toward a cigar like that, as opposed to something that's going to be a lot lighter. But for me personally, um, I'm just going to kind of move on from that maybe pick up a couple more newer boxes. Hopefully I can get some vintage boxes of these things and see how they are. But those, they're pretty hard to find right now at this present time. So anyway, I think I have rambled on enough and that's enough out of me. <clears throat>